Our next guest is one of the leading curators of one of the most important young voices in today's art world. And today she's here to tell us all about the upcoming Armory show and its theme, African Perspectives. Mm. Yvette Matumba. I love that mm. name. Beautiful. Thank Rolls you. off your tongue. Welcome to Arise. Thank you. Thanks Yvette for having me. Yvette Matumba. It's so musical. Where's that name from? Um, Congo. The DRC. Oh. Yeah, so okay. my father's Congolese. Really? And your mother? German. German. Ooh, that's a nice combination. How did they meet? Well, just, you know, studying in Germany and, you know, how you meet the students, like parties, whatever. I don't yeah. know. I wasn't there, but... <laughs> <so>. <laughs> but now you're here, yes. and thank yeah. you so oh, much nice. for being here. Well, so thanks for inviting me. Let's talk art. Mm -hmm. So the Armory Show isn't until spring, but you had a fabulous launch party last Absolutely. night. Okay. Yes. I was there. Some other Of words. course. <laughs> no, left me out. I'm telling you. <laughs> but it was to launch your uh, the show that you're curating. Tell us more about it and how did you come to be a part of the Armory Show? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's the focus section of the Armory Show. So mm -hmm. they have been doing that since sev several years, looking at specific regions in the art scenes in these regions. And so the upcoming focus is called African Perspectives. Yes. And we very specifically chose that title. We is basically me and Julia, my co-curator, who can't be here today. And it comes from an approach that we have developed over the past couple of years, basically, because we founded an art magazine, which is called Contemporary End. Mm -hmm. And um, there we say that we look at international art from African perspectives. And for us, it's really important to emphasize that because um, we say we don't really believe in the term contemporary African art because mm -hmm. so many people still feel like they have to say that Africa is a country or something, which right. is just not true. Not at all. So it's so complex. There's so many voices, so many perspectives. And for us, it's really important to make a point um, to show these different perspectives and to show how diverse it is. And so it's um, going to be like a special section on the Armory show with about 14 galleries. 14 mm. galleries. Um, so okay. it's like really a small but really good selection. And mm -hmm. um, the way we went about it is that we thought of artists that we found really interesting, a young generation of artists, and then actually asked the galleries whether they would be interested to join the Armory show. And so these galleries are going to do solo presentations of these artists. So it's going to be not the typical art fair booth where you have like lots of things hanging there, but like really we felt it's really important to give these young voices also space to present their work and mm -hmm. um, so the galleries really went with it and I'm really excited to yeah. yeah and it's a huge deal that's happening at the Armory show because it's I mean well for those who don't know can you explain its place and significance in the art world because it's a big deal yeah it is a big deal. <laughs> I mean we feel very honored and it's it's um, yeah very exciting also and because the Armory show is such a prestigious institution in that sense. It has been an art fair for over 20 years. It's in New York, so the place to go if you are in the arts. And um, it has like a huge visitor turnout and lots of money being spent there. And so for us, we really felt, um, though we are not coming from the market business in the art world, so I'm an art historian, I'm a curator, um, we still felt like it's a great opportunity to give these artists that haven't gotten that kind of visibility, mm -hmm. which is connected to the fact that they come from African perspectives, to give them this really big platform, um, which, you know, you can't really have anywhere else than here. So, mm -hmm. And one of the artists featured is Kapwani Kiwanga. Can you tell me more about Kapwani? Yeah. So Kapwani is going to be our commissioned artist. Mm -hmm. That means that she's being um, yeah, featured prominently in that sense that she um, is going to do, like, the design of talk with the designers for the catalog, she's going to do an edition for the MoMA, she's going to do an on-site project, um, and we um, really felt that Kapwani would be the ideal um, commissioned artist because she represents a lot of aspects that we feel are important in today's art scene in terms of African perspectives. I mean, she's someone who has lived in diaspora, but she also, you know, has lived in Africa. She's traveled a lot. She researches in her work, um, looking at different aspects from history to the future and works in different media, which is important that you can actually, you know, work with the media that we need also in that kind of context of mm -hmm. the Armory show. And so, yeah, for us, she was a perfect candidate um, to ask her to do this, so we're really happy that well, she's doing it. How did you go about choosing the other artists and pieces that you have in the collection? 
Um, basically, the idea is, so the subtitle of African Perspectives actually is um, spotlighting um, artistic practices of global contemporaries. Mm -hmm. So really, again, to, to say, okay, you know, you have an African perspective, but you're global as well because you move around a lot. Mm, and beautiful. So the idea is that we are um, invited mainly young yeah. artists, meaning born in the late 70s to early 1990s, mm. because we felt that this generation of artists very much represent this idea of being a global contemporary because you can be born in Accra in Ghana, have like English parents then living in Berlin now or mm -hmm. you know all these component components that make an African perspective and of course that also applies to an older generation with, of artists but it's more with this generation um, who moves who have like residencies in Hong Kong or whatever and so um, that was like the main motivation for us to choose the artist and then obviously there are the limits of an art fair, so it had to be galleries that can afford to, you know, to attend and to participate in the Armory mm -hmm. show. Um, but that was really still that we felt um, we push it as far as we can. I mean, it's not a museum show, but still uh, we really want to make it uh, something special in that sense. That's why it's also the solo presentations of the artists. Yeah. Now, you said from Lagos to London to Luanda will be represented. <laughs> yes. What other cities in Africa are getting you excited about the art scene. I'm, um, from, I'm from Lego, so I understand. I know that the art scene there is yeah, flourishing. It's, it's really amazing. thriving. Yeah. But what other cities in the continent are just making you get like, um, yeah. Well, I'm certainly in South Africa, Joburg and Cape Town. We will have three galleries from Cape Town, actually. And I think mm. that's interesting because most people think of Joburg when I think of South Africa in terms of the art scene. And of course, it's very important, but Cape Town is kind of catching up now. Um, which is really interesting to see. Um, then there's Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, yeah. actually, which gets me excited as a city. I was there last year, and um, there's so much going on. Um, the art school is changing a lot, um, and yeah. So it's I think I think Addis Ababa because it's a really young city is mm -hmm. one of the cities on the continent that's going to be very exciting in terms of art. So yeah. for sure. And so we're going to have one gallery from Addis as well oh, with okay. a young artist. Yeah. Now you're from Germany, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. I grew up in Germany. Oh, well, Germany. Okay, so what is the contemporary African art scene like there? Well, um, I wouldn't say there is really a proper art scene in that mm. sense. I mean, you know, being an Afri Afropean, as I could call myself, or like Afro-German, um, of course we have a diaspora and we have a black community, um, but it's only really slowly starting that there's a more conscious perception of what is going on. Mm -hmm. So there are artists, and there are, especially Berlin is like a hub for artists, so lots of artists from the continent move there, so from Lagos or South Africa especially, yeah. so you have artists there. But um, an awareness of them being there is only really something that's slowly kind of getting visible. And I mean, that was one of the main reasons why we, why we founded Contemporary End. It was really that we felt I mean, Julia and I, we both worked in the art business, just in the art business with no special focus on, on Africa or whatever. And then at some point we really felt like, okay, um, there's something missing here and there's mm. so much going on and mm -hmm. no one's really, you know, looking at it. So we really wanted to you know, provide a platform to make this visible and to talk about it. And um, that was really our main motivation to, to do it. So. so you head home to Germany tonight, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And you're back in the spring, obviously. Yeah. So what's next for you? Well, um, when I get back to Germany, actually, I continue preparing my next major exhibition at the museum where I'm working. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a show I'm working at a museum in Frankfurt in Germany. Yeah. And this uh, museum has a collection of about 3,000 works of contemporary art from Africa from the 60s to 80s. Mm -hmm. So it's a very specific collection. There's no other collection like this in Europe. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a show with works um, from the 1980s from South Africa, which were um, acquired by a German missionary on behalf of the museum, and it's only works by black artists. Mm -hmm. So it's a very specific history, because at the time in 1980s, as a black person, you actually couldn't become an artist, because you were not um, able to go to any universities or art colleges that wouldn't let in black people. Mm -hmm. wow. So if you would decide to become an artist, you had to find alternative <coughs> ways. Mm -hmm. And this person who went there for the museum, he very specifically looked at the work of black artists to bring that back to talk about the situation there the experience there so it was a very political decision to do that and um, the exhibition we're doing now is basically um, looking at these works so he brought back 600 works so it's quite a lot wow. yeah, yeah that it's sounds amazing. Like a lot. yeah so I mean we don't have the space to show all of the works but we're gonna show like 150 works mm -hmm. 
And for us, it was really important to look at this um, on different levels, not to just say, okay, it's worked by these black artists, it's apartheid, so of course that's the subcontext mm -hmm. and it's very obvious, but also to find like different levels of reading of these works. Mm -hmm. So the title of the exhibition is A Labor of Love. A Labor mm. of Love. And um, the reason behind this is that there was um, Abi Sachs, he was a very important um, activist in South Africa, and he said, like, you know, and there's all the struggle, he said, like, what about love? Mm. We are so, you know, we're so busy with fighting, with being angry, what's about love or humanity? And so that was for us, like, kind of a starting point to you know, find different readings of these works in the collections through the notions of love. So yeah. really to kind of turn around something that's really negative and see this different kind of love that you find in the works through, you know, the dedication of the artist, really. I well, think we need yeah. to make a trip to Germany. Yes. <laughs> Hold yes, us over to the yeah. show. <laughs> we should. So we got to go on the road with Josh Stone, yep. and then we're going to stop off in Germany to <laughs> visit Yvette Matumba. Absolutely. Well, we've Ma loved having you, and Thank we'll you see so you in much. the spring. Come back, yes. you promise? Yes, I will. Okay, and Definitely. congratulations. Yes, Thank you Definitely. so much. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. You come back, too. We'll be right here.